Yo. You guys want to see what I got to play with today? Well, then say hello to the Scadio 2 Plus. Now, for those of you that have never heard of Skydio drones before, let me just tell you up front, this is very, very different from what you're used to seeing. Like One of the things that makes the Skydio stand out from other drones on the market are these six 4K cameras placed all across the body of the drone that it uses for fully autonomous flight. So basically what that means is it's using that crispy 4K footage from all six of those cameras for obstacle avoidance. This thing can see just about everything in every direction and it will do a marvelous job of avoiding obstacles for you. Even when you're manually controlling it and trying to fly it into things, it still does a good job of avoiding them. The way this thing flies, it's, like, it's almost like it's sentient. It's super trippy to watch. You can almost see it thinking about what it's gonna do next and which way it wants to go like crazy. Now you'll notice the name is the Skydio 2 Plus. So for those of you that know already, there is a previous version, the Skydio 2. One of the major differences going up from the Skydio 2 to the Skydio 2 Plus are these two little radio antennas right here that give you five gigahertz signal. These two increase the range all the way up to six kilometers. That's pretty, that's pretty insane. So for those of you that wanted a little more range from the Skydio 2, well, now you got it. Another upgrade with the Skydio 2 Plus are the batteries which is already really cool with the Skydios in general. They got this magnetic mount for the battery. <laughs> so there's no clip, there's just a really strong magnet. You can see I actually have to like pull yeah, to get that off, like it's really good. It just holds on to these guys right here. The Skydio 2 Plus batteries give you up to 27 minutes flight time. So it's a lot longer than the original Skydio 2 batteries. But here's the bonus. If you already have a Skydio 2, these guys are backwards compatible. So you can get yourself a Skydio 2 Plus battery and up the flight time on your Skydio 2. But again, if you want that extended range, Skydio 2 Plus. The hardware upgrades don't stop there. They also upgraded the Beacon, so now the Beacon 2 Plus has a five gigahertz signal as well, so you get even better range out of the Beacon, which is literally one of my favorite controllers for this thing. We'll talk about that in a little bit too. Speaking of controls, if you like to manually fly the drone, you get this nice little controller. You can mount your phone right there. You get a turbo button, the record button. You can control the gimbal camera up and down from here, the height of the drone from here or here on the stick. You get a return to home button and a launch and landing button, and you can charge it with USB-C. This thing is awesome. And last but not least, one of the biggest upgrades they did to the Skydio 2 is this feature in the app called Keyframe. If you've ever flown a drone manually and tried to get some sick cinematic shots, you know how difficult it can be. Sometimes you're practicing for days just to be able to nail like these smooth panning shots in and around obstacles, going over things, around things while maintaining the camera position in a certain angle. It's, it's, it's crazy. It takes some people years of training to be able to get used to doing some of this stuff. But with the new keyframe feature in the Skydio app, you can actually set waypoints across an area, pointing the camera exactly where you want and having the drone go through this crazy set of maneuvers in any way you want. And it'll just loop through that sequence over and over to get the shot that you want. So you can plan out the most insane mind-bending shot while being a total beginner at using the controller. <laughs> which I can totally appreciate because I have spaz hands, so there's no way I'm flying any kind of complicated route. If I had to pick a favorite feature though, I it's gotta be this. It's gotta be tracking with the beacon. That is the coolest way to control a drone that I've ever seen. You can just launch the drone from your hand, lock onto yourself, point at the drone, and just click and drag it wherever you want. Just Hands down, this is the coolest way I've ever seen to control a drone. Because carrying these around, not really a fan. Controlling the drone with my phone, not really a fan. But this, this is just cool. Not only does it allow you to control the drone with nice simple buttons, change the direction that it's following you from, change the distance right here with the plus and minuses, change what modes you're in, what type of following modes. You can go from motion tracking to fixed track to orbit to double tapping the blue button and having it fly away from you, what they call a droney, and get you know a big shot of the entire area and then comes right back down and just starts following you again. But by far, the coolest thing about the beacon to me is being able to just point at the drone, click the button, and then drag that sucker wherever the hell you want. And the drone's just gonna move exactly to where you're pointing. So when you're out riding a one wheel or an electric unicycle or a bike, if you're an absolute badass and can, you know, ride one handed, you bust out the beacon, point at the drone, click and drag it to a different direction that you want it to follow you from, and whoop, 
it, it just moves over there and you're good. It just it just does it. It just bloop, moves and it, it's the coolest thing. Coolest thing I've ever seen. Now the Skydio 2 Plus starts in at about 1099 or 1099 US dollars. And that's for the starter kit, which comes with one battery, extra propellers, charger, basically everything you need to fly with your phone as the controller right out of the box. Now, if you ask me, I say get the sports kit because then you also get the beacon along with three batteries instead of one, a dual charger so you can charge two batteries at once and a 128 gig micro SD card, because why not? There's also the cinema kit and the pro kit, which come with a hard case, the controller, ND filters, all sorts of good stuff. So definitely check those out too if you're into the more advanced setups. Now, if you'll excuse me, me and my little blue friend here have some flying to do. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Deuces. It just, it just works. I love it.